Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome back to the course on testing and optimization in MetaTrader 4. As you can see from here in the previous tutorial, we talked about the two-dimensional surface analysis technique in MT4 and today we will talk about exporting optimization results into Excel and further analysis there. So let's jump straight into it. If we go to the optimization results tab, uh, you'll see uh, the a set of optimization results which I have from last time um, and originally they will always be ordered by profit so I'll just illustrate that uh, and that's how your results come up after the optimization is complete. Uh, first what we want to do today is we all want to order them by pass so uh, the first pass is at the top. Um, then uh, just bear in mind that if you did have skip useless results checked when you ran the optimization you won't see the negative results here. Um, uh, at this stage, uh, right now, we want to export all of our results to Excel so that we can analyze all of them there. Uh, so if you want to follow along like that, just make sure this is unchecked and uh, just rerun your optimization if you do uncheck it. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to click Copy All or you just press Alt-A on your keyboard. So let's do that. Um, after that, you need to open a blank Excel workbook like I have here, then right-click and click paste. That'll paste your results into Excel. Um, the only main drawback that you can see here right away is that we don't have headers in this Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to fix that and we're going to right click on the first column and we'll click insert which will give us a uh, first row and click insert which will give us a blank row. And now we're just going to make it smaller and we'll type in the headers manually. Unfortunately you do have to type in type them in manually uh, but you can, uh, you'll probably only need to do that once because you can always just copy them across to your other workbooks where you analyze the results. So I'm just going to do that. So I have populated all of the headers and now we see the next um, abnormal thing. It's these this uh, column full of zeros. Um, this started occurring from one of the recent builds of MetaTrader 4. Um, and you can either just give it a name such as empty or delete it all together and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to click here and click delete. Uh, now another thing I like to do is if you select all of your cells and then just by clicking up here in this uh, corner over here and then you double click on any one of the column dividers, uh, the cells, uh, the columns will automatically uh, will auto size and then maybe if we make this one a little bit bigger um, that allows you to see all of the contents of the cells. And finally, the last challenge we have uh, before we can move on with analysis is these uh, values of the parameters are present in the workbook. However, they're the, both the name and the value of the parameter are in each cell. And we don't want that. We want the names of the parameters to be up here and the values to be here. So it's very, So it would be very similar to what we have um, for ratios because uh, they have the names up there and the values in the cells themselves and it's easier to analyze that way. Uh, so in order to do that we're going to do the next um, uh, procedure. So just copy uh, the name of your parameter and place it into the uh, top of the cell. So we're going to populate up here but we're not going to just uh, type in the name of the parameter, uh, we will type in name of parameter equals name of parameter. And um, why we need to do that, I will explain in a minute. Um, same thing for this uh, take profit. So we're going to type that in. So we've populated the top uh, row with these uh, equal parameter name equals parameter name. And so I'm just going to show you very uh, efficient way of getting these values out of the cells or just keeping the values in the cells and getting rid of the name of the parameter. So you just highlight the row that you want to do that for, go to data and here select text to columns and in text to columns select delimited, uh, then unselect tab and select other and in other just put an equal sign and click next and then when you've got this first column selected, uh, select do not import column, skip. That will skip this column. And then with this general column, just keep it as general 
uh, it's all good. And as you can see, what that will do is it will split uh, your column uh, at the equal sign. And that's why we were putting the equal sign in uh, for the header row as well, so that it would be able to split it as well. And we get rid of this part, but we would keep this part. So now we're going to click finish. And as you can see here, we have min pip limit at the top and the values down at the bottom. So now we're going to do that for the rest of the columns. All right, so I've done uh, that same procedure for the rest of the columns. It took uh, less than a minute. And uh, now we have all of our optimization results separated and we can uh, very easily analyze them in Excel. So uh, some examples of analysis would be, we could, uh, first of all, we could add a filter up here. So in the same data ribbon, we just click filter and that adds a filter. And here, we can now easily not uh, like what we were able to do back in the trade four. We could we could sort by total trades, largest to smallest. So that's the maximum, smallest to largest, or uh, we could sort by profit factor. But that was the limitation to what we were able to do. I'm just actually going to uh, make this a bit more appealing visually. Um, put that in the center. Uh, so that that was the limitation of what we were able to do, but now we can do much much more uh, And especially if you're you've got basic Excel skills, you'll find uh, That you can uh, do quite a lot of cool stuff uh, for example, uh, if I want to uh, Now sort by the parameters. Let's uh, say I want to sort by stop loss now I can do that right I can uh, sort from the lowest to the largest or the largest to the lowest or if say I want to only look at certain min pip limits, so I want to look at four and five in my analysis. And then I also want to look at take profits that were the lower take profits. I want to see 10, 15, 20, 25. Don't want to see anything above that. Then I've got them there. And now I want to order by profit, large, largest to smallest. And I can see the largest profit here. Then uh, say for example, we don't want to do anything with these because these were not optimized. So MetaTrader 4 always puts the parameters that you did optimize in the first place. And uh, that way, so you can um, do that. For example, uh, now if I want to see all parameters with profit factor, say here, if we go to conditional formatting and we do color scale, uh, and we do color scale like that, we'll see uh, a color scale showing the most profitable and the least profitable uh, results or favorable results in terms of profit factors. So the least are over here and you can see how they gradually increase like that. And because of it's ordered by profit, but now let's order by, by total or um, let's get rid of uh, the min pip limit limitation and let's order by total per trade, say uh, largest to smallest. And you can, and say if we here, we also add uh, color scale, but uh, in this uh, in this case we say uh, let's use a blue and red color scale. You can see that uh, there's some negative ones over here, and then there's a chunk of good green uh, profit factors, and then as this drops off, you you see a mix. So even with a low number of total trades, is a high number of profit factor or high value of profit factor. And then very low trades, you see this anomaly that they're the pro, they are very high profit factors at 31 trades. So you kind of can do very interesting visual analytics here and you can uh, create charts and just basically do any of that Excel analysis you um, are familiar with or have uh, knowledge of how to do. Um, and that can significantly uh, speed up the process of analyzing optimization results. So that's all for today. In the next tutorial, I'll show you one specific example of how to benefit from this, and that's how to calculate uh, the recovery factor. And that's a parameter that is very important in trading, but it is actually not represented in any of the MetaTrader 4 reports. So we'll look at that next time. And until uh, I see you on that tutorial, happy trading. <music>